Hi, my name is Tammy Seard and I am a small animal educator for Andis Company and today I'm going to show you how to use some of our tools. This is Nico and he's a husky so he's double coated which requires you to remove the dead undercoat. Okay, first tool I'm going to recommend you using is the pin brush. The pin brush will also allow you to remove dead undercoat and you can just rub it lightly along their body and if you can see all of those dead undercoats flying out. You can also use this to line brush your dog which you're going to take the hair and spread it and then you'll just brush it down and then you would move up. You can start down here and slowly move up with your line brushing. The next tool I'd recommend is a slicker brush and this is going to also remove some dead undercoat. It's going to take all those flyaways off and you can also line brush with this as well. So you can start down here, spread the hair, the coat, turn around, and then just work your way up. The next tool is the undercoat rake. This undercoat rake does have blades on it, so you want to be careful. And what you're going to do is just lightly pull that dead undercoat right out. And just a slow motion down. You never want to go reverse with this tool. The next one I'm going to recommend is our metal comb. And this is what's going to check your work to make sure that you did remove all that undercoat. And as you can see, it just sl glides right through the coat, very smooth. And you can do the bottoms of their legs. The other tool I recommend using for that is our flea comb. And this is great for these, the hair on the legs that is not quite ready to come out. And that will also just pull that coat right out. Using the finer side of that comb also you can use that as well. And I go back and check it with my flea comb and see it just slow, easily glides right through that coat. And the next thing I'm going to show you is how to thinning shear the feet. You can start using your slicker brush and you're going to brush down and just take your thinning shears and follow that pad right around and get nice and tight between the toes. And you can flip it over and trim the back side of the pad as well. And these are great for leaving that natural look. Some, when you use shears, you're going to leave a finer edge, a sharper edge. So by using your thinners, it's going to leave this all looking very natural.